Welcome to Virtual Play Live Game Development Streaming. We're a small indie game company in the Netherlands, making a lot of applied games, but also working on our own entertainment games. We have big plans, including a lot of new technologies and very cool new gameplay ideas. For this stream, we'll be showing the entire process of building our new game, Hatchball, which is not really technically innovative, but a mashup of pinball and collecting and caring for cute creatures. My name is Stefan and I've been programming and making games for over 30 years. When I was very young I already had two big passions, music and computers. So I'm basically a self-taught programmer from a time before the internet and tutorials and just studied computer science and artificial intelligence years later. Let's get started. Hey, good, and well, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, I already see. A loyal viewer, that's really nice. Um, and um, welcome to everyone who is watching this, either live or like after this has happened live. Um, I'm uh, probably not gonna do this for long today, but just like just an hour or maybe even a little less. I'm pretty tired. Just gonna go on where, where I left off with the UI for Hatchbull. Um, not really much more to say there. I just uh, I'm just gonna get started. Let's see, I've got the scene here, I ended up um, pushing the preliminary menu design there, the scale is set up, yeah I know, I remember that, that was quite a lot of uh, explanation, and got my, um, yeah that actually didn't do any coding last, well I did some coding on the uh, uh, what do you call it? The um, the custom pinball event drawer, but um, I did not do any coding for the UI, which maybe I won't even do today as well. So let's just see how far uh, I will get. Um, we actually did a little design session with the team uh, for this because I was actually just winging it so we uh, we came up with this little uh, uh, with a little flow uh, let's see if I can like it's just the, the start of the flow is here um, it's just the version one hold on I'm on Uh, here so we just did that like we came up with okay well we what we want in the first version of the um, of the menu we know it's a logo and then it's just instead of like play and what is it like play options credits we thought there might be like play is actually two different things because the game actually consists of two parts I also see my uh, my uh, I'm, I'm quite a bit of a ghost there now quite fucking brilliant uh, let's see if I can just tweak that a little bit because it might be a bit distracting mm -hmm. all right just like that that's good enough for now I should not wear this color sweater I guess with these settings anyway um what I was talking about is this um, the flow uh, we actually didn't even make a flow yet just some wireframes um, logo the game has two parts two main parts the pinball and the hatchery um, the pinball would act you now uh, is the, the part that I've been doing so far hatchery I will start on sometime later uh, we're actually designing quite a lot of that still so I'm not gonna do that right away and then there's settings I didn't really have the cog handy but it, it works like this um ah, this figma actually have one awesome uh, yes font awesome free then that will work for settings though yeah <laughs> that's a tip actually for any um font awesome for anyone who has ever done something with websites you probably already most likely already know this 
um, font, awesome icons. Well, doesn't really matter which one. When I'm into icons, um, I could just search for anything like uh, settings. And then you get like all the icons related to settings. Font awesome is awesome. It's actually also a, a, it's a font of icons. So everybody use that uses this for like uh, websites. Uh, um, what do you want to call it? Um, WordPress and sort of things. Uh, but what I could actually do now is like I, I like cogs um, and Figma has cogs. So I'll just put cogs in there. How do I actually do that? go here whoa that's pretty slow and then we see here it is i copy it and then i paste it here i cannot do that i cannot believe it oh no it's so weird huh. well then that settles it i can't do that huh. that's strange Very strange. Hmm. Well, I'm not even sure that I have the font installed locally. Oh, I do. Well, then I could just browse it. Uh, how could I? How do I do that again? Um, Tadam. I'll just start a text editor and just use font awesome here. Doesn't do it. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, all fonts, font awesome. There we go. Regular. And it doesn't have the font there, but I, now I can actually maybe. Copy that Unicode glyph. Ah, well, it does not render because it's set to Helvetica. Doesn't want. Okay, so <laughs> super awesome. How do people do this on Figma? Uh, Figma font awesome. How to use font awesome in Figma? Create a text option. Use the font style. That's what I didn't know what I was doing. Cheat sheet. Okay, so because that is actually fontish. Let's see. Could I? This is a list view, no doesn't work let's let's see when I really want to be able to do this uh, there that's four seven well anyway it still would work um, what it, it was called cogs cogs there we go I can select this and copy it and then see if it does work because it's now as a text. Strangely enough, it does not. Well, there you go then. I'll go back to the uh, not so actual thing. Well, okay. Um, something I want to do is actually create something like this. Uh, the, the way I'm prototyping here is super quick, but if I actually want to like connect stuff and and make like have it run uh, in present mode, it's it's like adding an extra step. While I could also just uh, build all this in Unity because I'm already experienced with that, and then just make it work as UI. I'll show you what I'm I mean by that later. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry. Um, let's see. This is uh, so. This is what what I'm gonna like change it to. 
a settings icon, the uh, medals or achievements, and then um, the uh, information that, that's like includes the uh, uh, the credits and stuff. I see uh, somebody uh, saying hi. Hello, Corley Games. Welcome to the stream. Let me know if you have any questions or maybe helpful tips even. <laughs> Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my Figma thing here. I'm going to put it to my second screen just as a reference, and I'm going to make those buttons the way they should be uh, according to this design that we have now. So now we, what, next thing I'm going to do, I had, I had this button group. It's a vertical layout group. So uh, I showed last time it doesn't matter how... Uh, how high you make that until you make it higher than the number of buttons. So I just make it not as high because then that's where I set the spacing. And now I'm just gonna uh, do. Whoa, there's ah, one of my colleagues is locked in on the same. Uh... All right, uh, let's see. That's gonna go away. Let's see what happens here if I paste the. I can't. Oh, I know in Unity I know how to use uh, Font Awesome. I don't have that here yet, though. I should actually add that. I'm gonna do Font Awesome, show in Finder. I could also download it again or something, but I just wanna be quick and do it like this. Font awesome, regular, and I'm creating a text mesh pro font asset, and from the solid one as well. Somehow, font awesome, somehow text mesh pro stop working there. That might have to do with the localization. Nope, there's something else going on there, something fishy. Um, oh, there it is again. Let's see, I got the font awesome cheat sheet here still. I'll copy the cogs. Yes, I'll copy it again. No, I don't need to copy it. I just need its Unicode. It's F085. So in here, I'm going to do slash backslash U F085. And there we have it. But now we need the font awesome. Well, I will be. Maybe it's only in solid. There it is. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it does work now. So. Um, it does not properly align. Oh, it doesn't have a huh, doesn't have a um, lower and upper text bound. But I can definitely use this for so for, and so far as we did not um, design a button yet. So. Right. So uh, that might be a little smaller. Nice. All right. Next one would be uh, like put below there. I want to move it, but I can't because it's in a button group. But I'm actually going to make a, a horizontal group within this vertical group. Uh, like, uh, da -da -dum. Oh, that, that works not. Uh, should just add an empty object. And to that, add the uh, horizontal layout group and in the in that one I'm gonna put the uh, this is actually the options button now and this is the uh, hatchery button and this is the pinball so I'm gonna change that pinball I really don't know why unity does this with uh, Sure. Re All right, and then 
and that one should be the same width. Ah, nice, it, it snaps, and it should be the same height, which I can just set here. And we set it to 38, and then these ones, I've, as soon as I put them in there, they will be, oopily. And now, there they go, spacing 12, and make it not as wide as that, or, like, infinite spacing, I think, is do it. No, that's not the way. Um, it needs to, like, write a line, but that, oh, here, there, there we go. Um, there. So, that would work for two. I actually want to add three buttons, so let's see what it does there. Ah, that's not enough. I would have figured that. So, uh, seeing this, I could now... It's 12 plus 3 times th uh, <clears throat> three times 38. So that is 114. Yes. Uh, plus 12 here, plus 12 there. So plus 24, 114 plus 24. Not one a uh, little uh, uh, a quick unity tip um, is that you can in any of those number fields you can use math as a calculator so I know it's 114 plus 24 and then it just calculates that for me I could even have done oh it's like three times 38 plus two times 12 Bam, there we go that's what I wanted to do. 3 times 38 plus 2 times 12. I didn't have to do the math myself there. So that's super nice. Um, actually, this thing... Oh, oops. Oops, oops, oops. What did I do? This thing that I did there, upper center I can do. And then I really don't even need to bother with the... Um, This and this, this that one as well. What that is outrageous. Um, I would definitely have expected that thing. No, hold on, what? Oh, center. Oh, no. That I did not expect. All right, then I will go to uh, this one. I'll make it wider, but first I say I'll control the child size in width. And then I make these nicely the right width. And then this one will always be the, the same width. Um. So what is happening here with TextMesh Pro is that it's bugging quite a lot. What I've been thinking is it might be the order of drawing, but <clears throat> that really does not make sense uh, usually. No. But um, no, there's no or no logical reason. Anyway, um, I'm gonna get rid of these because they are they still don't have an icon and I want that one so I'll just copy that one and I'll have my font awesome preset already um, so the middle one is going to be a um, what do you call that actually a cup do we call that a cup huh. I'm gonna go back to the search trophy Ah, trophy. Okay. So trophy is F091. Very close to cogs. There's trophy. And then, oh, what happened there? Oh, der. There's still a. So how come this one? Oh, duh. How come this one didn't have that? Oh, it does. All right. So. Remove localize and then let's try again. Uh, 
options button. Two more. And that's 91. And the other one is going to be, uh, what was it? The ID info. Let's see. Info. Info square, info circle. Info circle is the most universal one, I think. F-O-5-A. There we go. So, nice menu. It's definitely not designed yet. Well, that's also why I took this color and I made it this color explicitly because um, I did not uh, want it to... Uh, I want it to be super, super clear that this is not the final design. Um, which I hope anyone would, who sees this would notice immediately. Um, pinball, hatchery, stuff. Okay, so now for the next menu. Next menu would be, for instance, that pinball map with some levels on it. And um, the, in this game, it's not going to be like a straight progression, like we have one, two, three, it's just going to be like there's a magic forest and there's this nice little place there and then there's a different place somewhere else and you can go to places, that's why it's a map. So I'm just for now going to make a little uh, first version of that. And uh, the hard part here is the scaling again. I actually don't know what I'm going to do with that. but. So uh, I made a copy of my main menu, I disable this one, and I'm going to call this the pinball map for now. Um, so the logo in this case will be, the scaling logo will definitely be disabled. Yeah, I, I won't need a logo on this. I'll need to make logic so that it also stops that logo from rendering. Um, for now, there is the... I'm actually not sure, can I put a canvas within? Nope. All right. I was just wearing something weird. All right, it's back. <laughs> yes, there's our... Uh, <laughs> as our <art> director <laughs> of course that's a temporary color um so um there we go a main menu is hidden pinball map so i'm gonna build this thing and this that actually doesn't re not have this nice little layout so i'm just gonna get rid of that and instead just get one of those buttons here i guess no, I need text. Going to get one of my original buttons. Like level. Whoa, caps lock. Level button. And I'm going to do the unity and the numbering way so that next one will get a nice number two. Uh, this one I'll delete. And I kept that one to keep the nice little icon. I want an icon. Where do I want the icon? Well, I want it something like over here, and then it's going to be a star. And next thing I'm going to search for, star. Uh, in font awesome. Yeah, it's just called star, of course. And then <clears throat> F005. Wow, that's one of the first ones. Makes sense. Right, so that and this is going to be the pinball thing. It should be a little smaller, like 16 or something, and it should be level. Well, let's just call it Magic Forest. And then, um, oh no, I got the localize on there. Actually, should be there. Because if the levels are going to have names, we're going to have to localize those. Um, if you ever use I2 localize, you know that this is a bit hard to get rid of the actual term. I'll put it to none. And then I'll change the text. 
magic forest. Oop. And then I can create a new one. Infer from text and then add text to character source. If you do that in a wrong order, you're just screwed. Magic forest or magis bout. That's weirdly enough this same glitch again, um, which makes it hard for me to make this be the right size. Um, why does that happen? Because it's outside of that thing. That's super weird. Ah, there's Magic Forest again. Uh, Magic Forest, why do I get this extra overflow? Ah, because it's set to align with the first line. That makes sense. So middle, something, oop, something like that. And that's too big. So, all right, I'll go back and put it to, let's say, 14. 12 even. Oh. Magic Forest still looks okay. Um, this would be an app for uh, cool blue in our. <laughs> if I see these colors, makes me think of that. In uh, it's like a uh, electronics store. Um, right. So let's just follow the design for now. It's Definitely not a map. We didn't draw any map yet, but uh, oh, hold on. It needs another text. One text without localization because this will have the high, current high score. So one, three, five, two, one, oh, is our sample thing. Let's just go with that and make that black and go on top of the thing. Right, so basically black is not the right choice here, I know. Oops, uh, double click that. Um, I slow double clicked it now and then I say high score and here it's the star. Why the star there? Because then you can see which um, star you have gotten there. And uh, currently it's like silver. Silver is a hard color to get right. There's no real color as silver actually, so let's just do it like that. Um, and the black high score. Ah, white's actually better. Um. So, oh my goodness! <laughs> well, I'm gonna I'm gonna Google that stuff happening sometime soon. Um, it's overlap, right? The font, yeah. <clears throat> All right. So there we go with another one. Uh, yeah, that will be level two, and then there's level three, or they don't have. Specific Order, but and then there's one. So this could be a map of the forest. It might it might become scrollable at some point or something like that. I don't know. Um, let's just put them like this for now. And then we have a back button, which should be on all the screens. Up oh, minus thirty. And back button should be first so that I can easily see this. Oop, arrow to the left so I can um, close all of those. And then let's see, back button that one can stay, those will go. And we'll say back. And let's just keep it at that for now. It should be still be almost a centimeter high, but this can be the back button can be a little bit smaller. But let's just keep it one centimeter wide. Yeah, this is 
on my screen this is already pretty small I don't like it I'm just gonna make it yeah Oof, that takes up a lot of screen space let's just go for like some optimized mm, best case thing Heh. well I'll have to deal with that what is happening here ah that is happening here whoops that's what's actually going on I already thought it was a lot yes um, not being overly uh, explanatory today sorry about that um got a back button and I've got these buttons that I can press for the levels and now let's just I mean that's the magic forest this, this could be like different level names but I would say none at this point can I multi-edit? Yes, four. Thank God. All right, and I can just change the text here to level title. Right. Um. All right, so that's basically what we have here. And then I'll make one other, and then I'm going to start putting it all together. Um, this is one that we really did not finish yet, but we're getting somewhere with that. So I'll just probably tweak that next time. Um, oops, cloned my entire UI there. Pinball map, new, um, new screen or new menu actually. Pinball map, new menu is level, configuration, and that's whenever you go into that one. Turn this one off, and the new one will get a back button. Yes, it will remain there. And then the um, rest will be quite different. Well, no, actually. Ooh, sorry. <clears throat> As I said, I'm a bit tired. Right, so what we have here is the difficulties. Uh, needs to be one centimeter high to select it that's might be a problem here for what we wanted well we're gonna see about that um text mesh says not magic forest i will just non disable this translation for now easy um I'm going to put the star on the button to save some. Ooh, that's, that's a nasty bit about text mesh Pro. You sometimes end up moving the sub mesh. There we go. Um, So that will be the star that I got for, uh, like that will be the score that I get, I have gotten so far for easy. Easy would be the bronze star. And let's see if this fits. This might be a bit closer now. Ah, come on, with their sub mesh. Is that on a different layer? No, it's not. Okay. Um, Put this in a horizontal control group. Uh, let's see, there we go. Create empty. Horizontal layout group. Did I just. I probably didn't name it in the other one. Oh, that's bad. Uh, in the main menu. Game object. Um, just button group is is good even though that one is also called button group right 
uh, this one I should name um, difficulty and then I can actually add no I don't need to yeah it needs to be a toggle as well but I'm, I need to oh actually no I need I can do that toggle group um, and then let's say easy button medium button and hard button and the thing needs to be quite wide enough we had 138 was that 138 yeah it is so is let's see is this one so much wider oh yeah it is so maybe we make those um 38 by 38 huh. and these so the new ones are actually way too high uh, way too uh, big for that so they more they're way bigger than they need to be yes 49 let's for now just say they're 38 wide then we need to also uh, then maybe I'm gonna make a prefab for this later these high scores need to have a little smaller font. Nah, this doesn't work. No, it needs to be bigger. All right, I'm going to make that bigger. The spacing should be 12 again. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's not 12 then. Let's say 10 because of the star sticking out there. And then why not just make it fit the width? Oh, that's why. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to just pretend I didn't do that. Uh, upper center. Oh, of course, that didn't work again. So how do I get a horizontal layout group to do a layout? without doing that padding so if I make more padding then it will still just the line on the left it's super weird that upper center doesn't work and middle center of Is it, was it Child Force Expand? It was. Okay, so nice. I can re... Oh, that's not the one. Redo that for this one as well. Ah, oh, Child Force Expand is off. Well, I did it for this one. Hey, hello. Hi there, Tom. All right, level configuration has the difficulty buttons. I will simply place those here where I wanted them. And then I'll just <laughs> change them because this, of course, needs to be medium. And this needs to be hard. And there I see that I, yeah, in fact, just don't want that. Uh, I just want them to be as wide as that and even be a little smaller yes that's better right so now the stars I need to make uh, bronze which is something like this and then silver is already there and gold should be something like that the bronze is a bit too dark now to, oh, it's hard to see on the on the orange, but eh. I actually shouldn't really be tweaking this too much because, well, it's going to be a design anyway. Uh, or I could just uh, do the following. 
give this a little outline but now I should be aware that this would happen for all those icons also in the main menu uh, if you would see this it also happens here now so nope don't do it I'm not gonna do that what I will do is try to see if I can use a different approach for this not in the material but as a does that actually work for text mesh pro probably not shadow um, shadow is a rec transform thing nope does not work of course because it's not a picture i uh, know it has this shade here so nope not gonna do that now i might you see because thing is it even has this beveling thing that um uh, Oh, offset here. Um, what? Wait. Oh, not offset. I don't want offset. With. You see that you can do a lot of cool stuff with um, uh, Font Awesome. Uh, for with <laughs> with TechMesh Pro. But um, you see, it's got I me mean, do all this kind of what ah, like you do a lot of things, but um, I don't, I'm not gonna do this now because if I do this, then again. In the main menu, you'll see they'll have the same effect, which is not so bad. But I do, I, I'm just we're, in the future, we're gonna have drawings for this anyway, so I was just playing with it. All right, I'm gonna turn it, just turn it off. No, no uh, outline. <clears throat> So basically what we're going to do with the, uh, these scores here, um, the game will have a high score for each difficulty. So let's say for um, medium it would be that, and that would be our best score. Uh, but for um, easy it would be, oh, what's that? Uh, high score, what's that in between? Weird. And it's gone again. Jeez. And then that one would still be like untried. I don't know. Let's we will have to come up with a better naming convention for that. And I really have to see why this happens all the time. Um <clears throat> it might just be a bug in Unity, but it might also be something that I don't know. Um then I'm Instead of buttons, these need to be toggles. So I'm going to remove the button component and add the toggle component. Oops. Toggle. And probably it will already kind of work. Um, I'm not sure how much it would be visible. Interactable would definitely see, but I don't know if selected versus normal is going to make a difference. It's not. Whoa. Um, yes, let's see. Is on. I don't see it, so. Uh, it should normally just be like. Oh, that's dumb. And it needs to have a graphic to uh, for for the on state. 
that's what it needs. Normally you'd make a toggle, just like making it. Uh, let's, here you see it, a uh, toggle. A toggle would have um, a couple things like a graphic and the the target, so that the target is the, the thing, it's uh, like the, the uh, here you show, this background square and the on is actually the check mark that's on there. So it needs an on state background thing, let's say. I'm going to copy the button, get those things off, put it back in there, and uh, uh, make this span the whole thing and have it be a different color. So easy. For now, easy. And then I would um, on background. And I could simply do that. And um, the rendering will be toggled off for the easy when it's off. Um, and then now I can actually copy this onto those, remove the button, paste it. I could also just make them a new, but I think this is just a little bit quicker. Just to make sure that the home background of each of them is Refer referenced in there, like nice that he got a number there. So, yes, it's off now, and now I can put this group allow switch off. Mm, doesn't seem logical. So, for instance, easy is first selected, they all get this toggle group. Um, group. Now they're all member of the same group. And if I run this, I'll, I can actually run this now. You can see that I can just toggle, select between easy, medium, hard. That is not good. Oh, <laughs> yes. That's something that happens. You should never copy these. <laughs> um, it was showing the stuff on the easy um, button for all of them. That's one of the reasons you should ne never do that. And now... Alright, so you see that's what happens when you click a button. It just gets this effect. I can press easy. Doesn't wouldn't really do anything. Hold on, what? Somehow something is very much off here. All right, so if I go over, it will show me that thing. So anything below is rendered maybe? I don't know how this works. No, that doesn't work, duh. I wasn't looking at my screen. <laughs> um, super weird. Let's see if it actually only disables the... Huh. something fishy going on there and I don't know because I did this like in the past but oh damn that's what happened the backgrounds got 
toggle components of their own. That's of course gonna mess everything up completely. All right. It's easy. Easy can't really be pressed. You see when I hover over these, it's really subtle, but I can see that. And then, yes. So now there's a toggle thing. I can select the difficulty I want for the level. Um, what I don't understand is how that thing has magic forest written on it suddenly. But it might have something to do with that one still having... No. Does it? Oh, yeah, it does. It still has magic forest there. I should actually make a back term. And just mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh, this is the one in the pinball map. Actually, going to this one now and select the back. So back. All right. Um, while I'm at it, I might just add those terms. Inferred from text, easy, at term to source, medium, at term to source, hard, at term to source, and just say hard. Medium, normal, ah, let's just say normal for medium and then easy okay so there we get one to one of the nice well nice things about localization that is that of course I design a button and it fits this text really nicely and then I go ahead and localize and everything is screwed up um, I, will I will use auto size here with a maximum of 12, because that's our ideal design size. Set 12. Oh, minimum is too high. So 12. So now when I localize, I still think this thing is a bit bugged. Right, easy. It would auto fit. And now I can also see that I need some uh, margins. Uh, medium which is actually normal now so if we say normal shouldn't we actually start on normal okay and then the text let's say I will go to Dutch and you see Makkelijk there that's to um, too wide for the frame. Uh, extra settings here, margins. I'm gonna give it three. Let's see if that looks. Ah, oh, there. Three looks okay. Let's see if it actually looks okay when I... No, it's not enough. Alright, four. Right. So if I want to switch officially, like what I did now with the localiz localizers, I just can click one of those languages to preview really quickly but if as soon as I get out of there it switches back if I go to my languages then I can switch oh okay okay does not work weirdly 
So I think this I2 might need a little update. Oh, there we go. It might also just be... Um, all right. I need to refresh. Okay. So at this time, it's... Uh, it's not really clear why, but I need to refresh there. Right. Um, let me just make this uh, extra field here. Um, it's like the preview of the level. Uh, none preview because I mean it's gonna have an image, but not right now. Oh, uh, why is that? I really don't know. Oh, I do know. That's completely not so nice. How can I actually measure that? Oh yeah, that's not. I don't know how I can measure this in Unity. Stupid. What? Well, I'll have to wing it. it sh I should have this these snapping functions as well, but pretty sure they don't align to stuff that it's not. Eh, that's less handy. But now at least I can do this and do the same on the right side. 10.8, 10.8. It will be nicely aligned now automatically. Mm. Go up here and um, then there's two things left down there. Uh, okay, let's see. Over here we've got these things, difficulty being their carrier. All right, it should be middle center. And I should make sure that that fits. All right, I'm going to align this to the top. I'm going to copy this text here in outside of this stuff to be the title. And there, how we go. I like magic forest. We do have a term for that magic forest. Um, make that bigger. Then um, say for that thing. It's so not so nice a line. Oh, I know why. Yes. Okay, like that. And this thing will be um, uh, in the middle for whatever is left when we put a hatchling slot down here and that should definitely be a third so we've got a width of how much here 172.4 um, Yes, uh, let's say 172 minus 24, and we'll divide this by 3. Then we get 49.333, let's just say 49, and we'll have actually the first hatchling slot here 49 by 49 
and then we will make a little uh, a little horizontal layout group out of that just like that one but then over here 49 high weirdly doing Hatchling slot 1, hatchling slot 2, hatchling slot 3. Should not have hatchling slot. Uh, should not have back in the text there, of course. Uh, nope. It has to be like hatchling slot. Let's just do ABC. So far we did that and then A, B, C. Um, yes, that is the yeah, that is the Hachling, Hachling Schlot, Hachling Schlot. It's not good. Hatchling Slot um, doing one, two, three again. Maybe we did do one, two, three. Well, let's. I don't care. Three, and then a play button. So already see there. These really need to be square. These need the stars there. Maybe I could mix it up a little bit, but it seems like I'm. Well, I can definitely tweak this a little bit. Mm. Stars. Like that. The high scores. And that's super silly. Why are they... Oh. Why are they... Why do they have a height of zero? Super weird. Oh, uh, let's put them just right up against that thing. All right, and now I can actually make this a bit less space. This goes up, and these go up, and now we actually have a spot for our most important button here, I would say. Ten point eight, huh? Oh, I, oh, that did not get aligned at ten point eight. Huh, interesting. So that little, oh, it did make a difference. Yes, uh, minus ten point eight, and then I go. Whoops! This would be our biggest button. Hold play. So what play would do is start the pinball. Um, something like this. And there's one thing I'm still going to do here now, and that is make sure that it scales nicely with different screens. So this thing has a certain um, distance from uh, there. So, thing is, I'm going to set this to 0 and 1, so that it will, this this side will go with the, the lower bit, that side will go with the upper bit. Um, so, let's see if that actually does work. Oh, I forgot to, okay, it does work. I forgot to anchor these things to the bottom. Oh, uh, that's not what I'm doing. To the bottom. And that one as well, to the bottom. Okay, so those will stay at the bottom. Those, where's the back button? I didn't copy it, really. Well, 
unfortunately that I do have another one. I'll copy it from the other menu. Back button. Uh, level name. Um, let's see. And the back button should be the actual back button is on the top and the play button should be down below from the preview area and hatchling slots doesn't need a toggle group all right um, and the play button just to make it the right order the play button should be on the bottom back button level name difficulty preview area actually slots play button these are anchored to the lower um, border those are anchored to the top border so that means that and the preview it's is anchored to like both so when i do this bam, bam it automatically scales i see something there what for Oh, that's magic forest. Oopsie. Should be anchored to the top. Right. So now I did not anchor it to the top. Oh, of course I didn't. I selected the yes. I selected the stop mesh. That happens to me all the time. Now it's anchored to the top. And then ta-da automatically going along even if I do this it will just work um, like that like that it really doesn't matter what they do so let the lesson be <laughs> for whoever is just looking at this and see oh man I wish I would be better at this kind of stuff um, just Make sure that you think about your anchors. Like if you if you think about your anchors in the right way, so you think about okay, I'm gonna um, what what needs scaling? What needs to go like along with a screen that would get bigger or smaller, and then make sure it's anchored to that place. So so I was thinking like this preview thing this thing it should be anchored to the same as the th as the top bit so that it goes along with that top bit the left and right are just anchored to the left and right as well so this thing will always have the same margins well, if you're not good at that just practice i guess <laughs> so uh what i would do now is uh, actually what i have planned is um to make the menu system, put that in here. Uh, I've got the menu system. I would put it in here so that I could get some nice transitions and stuff. I'm actually not going to do that anymore because I'm too tired, as I said before. Um, so for now, I'm going to call it a day. Um, at this nice, well, nice point, got a main menu. Uh, got the pinball map. Got a level configuration. That was the nicest one. And of course, we got the in-game UI. Which I could, should call uh, Pinball UI because it's not in game because there's two games. Right, so, oh, I see one thing I didn't do yet. Let's just do that. It's going to be Pinball. Did I? Oh, I localized that already. Pinball. I'm not sure we should call it that though. Well, yeah, well, let's think about it, uh, and we'll we'll we should test that with an with an actual Dutch audience. Um, Infer from text. No, I should first change it. Hatchery. Hatchery. And I have no idea, no idea if we should 
actually just keep that hatchery hatchery uh, Nesterai Nest Nest Ah bleh. I hate Dutch sometimes. <laughs> weird bug in localized so yeah have pinball and hatchery just to uh ah <laughs> i was gonna say just to have a nice you know look at this but look at this it just all right there we have it right so um as always going to commit my stuff and only thing I did what oh yes of course I changed the settings on the on the font twice um, so mostly what changes the scene so I'm gonna say uh, that um, um, like first three main menu menus And that's it. All right. So um, as always, huh, now it's like super, super much static there. I'm gonna just um, get rid of my sweater here. <laughs> Let's see. So this is definitely uh, that. Uh, there we go. That looks good. Oh, it's because I'm not showing. It's actually pretty weird. Well, if I had this filter like this on the other one, it didn't work. Maybe because I had too much white on screen. I don't know. Well, anyway, thank you for watching. It's been uh, it's been fun for me, but I hope it's been fun for you. Um, and um, have a nice evening or day or whatever you wherever you are in your day. Um, please. Uh, drop a like or follow subscribe you know all that that kind of stuff consider becoming a patreon if you're looking at this and you want to support us that would be awesome and as always i'm going to leave you with a bit of music uh, which um, well, you might have heard and see you next time as well erin um, and um, the music is from a game from 2012 uh, i made with little motion uh, ludo motion my a company I was involved with in, with in the past. It's an adaptive track with three loudness like intensities in this one. I've made like 12 different variations. I'll do that. I'll, I'll make that. Uh, I'll play that some, some next time actually. Um, the other variations of this track, they were like based on the characters in the game, but this one just has three of them. A very uh, like a relaxed one, a uh, normal one and a very intense one as you can hear in the next four minutes. Thank you for watching again, and I'll see you next time, which will be Sunday. Bye-bye. Oh, and there it is. I'll see you Sunday. <laughs>